Yes, this is the same clip you seen last week. Welcome back to Everything From Not, Ireland's greatest show, according to scientists. We did not say that. Scientists did. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify. Uh, if anyone would like to help us out by donating, you can click the ACAST supporter link in the description of this episode and every episode. Uh, you can donate any amount you want, and all the donations will go back into the podcast, into the equipment, and so on and so forth. We want to do loads of things. We have loads of ideas, blah, 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 blah. We really appreciate your support. And yeah, again, the link is in the description. You can donate however amount you want, and all donations are appreciate, appreciated equally. And yeah, over to the episode. I think we will start off with the queue situation. Okay, queues. Right. I get righty in queues. To be honest with you, I want to destroy people in queues. What do you mean? Like queues, you're like queuing for shit. I have no patience for it. Really? Yeah. So um, you're in a big long queue. You're waiting to get. Oh, you're waiting your turn. And this one in front of you, we've been standing there 15 minutes queuing. And there is someone waiting ahead of you right now. She's right in front of me. No, no. Right now, like yeah, you're like you're gonna have to wait because yeah. you have to go over to Stevie's intro music. Damn. Yeah, Damn. that's Stevie. Okay, Jump in the queue. Tune. It is good tune. Right. Well, well, we. We, will we, wait, will we pick that song or will we do another song? Hmm. Kieran, what do you want? I don't know. I, I'm a, I'm a, I don't like, I'm gluten free. I don't like well, gluten. Tune is sure, gluten free. Sure, look, no one in the queue behind us is, is like too concerned about how long we take to choose this song. Yeah, it's just no one waiting to I'm get their waiting. I'm, bice across. I want to hear, I want to hear that Friday feed. <laughs> it's not your turn. It's not how your much? Turn. Will we let him ahead of us? Come on, or, Friday Okay, right, right. Come over to the intro music. No, over to the intro music. Every week, every week it does it. Ireland's and it's consistent. Most, it is, yeah. Every That's the same song good. that was played this time seven days ago. But it's not perfect. It was exactly the same as last week's. And you sing it here every time. Just when we when we put up the thing on the screen, like it's not like you know, like Stevie sings, he gets out the guitar and like I don't well, even use a guitar. I make all those sounds just with my voice, just with your mouth, yeah. Time. That's and your foot. Life of a dolphin and the no. foot, yeah. Yeah, you did use your foot a bit. Yeah. Hey, so you, you did you did want to speak on something. You wanted to get something off your chest so about cues. Yeah, cues. So if you're in a queue and the queue is going on for ages, you make up your mind what you want before you get up to the girl at the front, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it a girl at the front? Because it was a girl at the front. Because it's a specific situation. <laughs> it was a girl at the front about. and it was like, it was coffee, right? And he wants to, do you want syrup with that? And she's like, Tabitha, where's Tabitha gone? Where's Tabitha gone? It's such oh, a oh, random oh, I name. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. And we're like, hey, will you go and get Tabitha? She says to the little kid. I fucking, where's, nobody could find Tabitha. So the whole queue had to wait and we found Tabitha to know that she wants it. So the girl put a cop on behind the counter said, look, I'll leave out the syrup, but it's 30 pence extra or something if you do want it when she comes back. Or just as she rings it all up and your one's putting in her car and about to key and thing, who turns up? Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> Tabitha turns up and it turns out Tabitha does want syrup and it's 30 cents extra. So we have to cancel all the shit we put into the fucking tail and start again and withdraw your card. Withdraw your card because Tabitha couldn't be fucking around. That's funny. Oh God. Was this a reason? Do you know you're okay? It's like today. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's so a reason. <laughs> fucking Tabitha, get your shit together. When your mother's ordering stuff, you stay with her, you see? Yeah, what wait, what age is she? Was she? Fuck, I don't know. I, sh- I was I was enraged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's always, isn't it? Like, mm, it's yeah. a, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. But you're standing there twenty minutes. Make yeah, up your fucking yeah. mind. That day is oh, a bizarre one. And everyone else is like, oh no, Jesus. Yeah, I love I love as well though. You don't really see it in the bigger shops, but you know, like, what do you think about like? I'm always in like two mindsets when I experience this. When you're in the queue and there's someone ahead of you mm. and there's a bit of a queue going on now, but you're next, so you kind of feel like you're the one that's more like whatever. Um, but yeah, so anyway, there's someone in the queue, but they're talking to them. They're done. They're cashed. Mm. Everything's paid oh, for. Yeah, get they have their products. Out. They're ready to go. Can't stand but it. the person's talking away to them as no. if no one else exists or yeah. ever did. That mm. happens so fucking often in Ireland. Yeah, it yeah. drives me up the fucking wall. Really? It, like, why are you chit-chatting? I worked <laughs> on a till. You don't chit-chat. You chit-chat while you're doing the work. You don't chit-chat often. Yeah, yeah, then you like, say goodbye. You can talk away exactly. while you're doing it. I had a cousin who worked in the bank and he used to ring me like during his working time uh, and like he'd be on the phone for ages and ages 
and uh, we, like we'd be talking yeah. about whatever the crap and then he goes oh, hey I better go there's a fucking massive kiwi here. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes there's some lula giving me a funny look Jesus oh, Christ that shit for 20 minutes in a queue forming in the back I, I, he hated oh, his wow. job yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, you know loads mad. of people hate their jobs but you can't fucking then don't do the job but like, you know what to be fa- in, really in, in fairness though it's normally the people that don't hate their job. Do normally people that in most cases, obviously a bit of an outlier there, but yeah. most people hate it. They want them gone and quick. Normally it's the people who love their job so much that they just want to talk to talk to everyone. And that's okay. I'm glad you love your job, but like I'd rather be like I'd rather do the job than waiting oh, in queue. There's he, literally nothing worse than waiting in queue. Like, he'd be like, oh, there's some Lula here looking for a mortgage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some some crazy person here for a service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demented. Yeah. Lock them away. Yeah. Lula. <laughs> yeah, it is bizarre. Yeah. I've no patience for queues. I've really, you do all. you must have a strategy. It depends. Mm. What, it depends. What if you're I get very. I get like obviously huffy, so I make it known that I I don't have time for this, and it's very irritating. <laughs> no, to me I right need now. to know. I need to learn some huffy <clears throat> skills. Yeah, though. is that an actual? Because what, what do you do? Like do you yeah, the big Exhale. sigh, the dumping your bag down really loudly Dumping, on the yeah. floor, like, oh, okay. oh, we're here for a <laughs> fucking while, are we? <laughs> that <laughs> kind Would of you do that? thing. Mm. Just um, clearing your throat. Like, yeah, slamming your wallet down on the counter if you're immediately behind the person at the counter and, like, mm. fiddling with your bag and your coat, like, oh, my God, I'm about to drop down dead from this fucking weight. Or pl- mm. pulling Things a Glock. Like that. Pulling a Glock um, from your bag, that will tell them. And if somebody <laughs> is just, like, in front of me, just, like, huffing um puffing and oh i don't know what to do i don't know mm. what to have then i go oh sorry can i just get an americano then please yeah oh, why instead of yeah. which yeah. actually oh. like, because clearly you need more time to decide <laughs> and i already know no oh. way no, that's funny that's what i do no no let me think no no i think I, no yeah i will i go with the america no 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 wait no wait no um then then ca- you ca- wait you no no you i know i know i definitely the cappuccino a- cappuccino cap oh no with syrup is there syrup no, yeah, like you, yeah, you yeah. Kind of hover around that. I don't yeah. know shit for a fucking a long time, oh, no. while somebody explodes behind you. Then no. I just chip in if I'm close enough to the front. I will just chip in and be like, "Can I just get this then, or can I pay for?" When this When you get thing? older, you get better with that kind of thing. Like, as in, um, my dad is really good. He just poked people with oh, sticks. Oh, my mom's terrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to tell him hurry on, yeah. poke him with yeah, a stick. Yeah. <laughs> I remember um, That's very good. I remember I saw him he's, uh, all right, so he's parking so it's hard to walk so he's in yeah, the stable yeah. parking space across from Stakedoms and I saw these ruffians near do wells <laughs> yeah, near parked in the disabled parking space and I was going fucking cheeky them I yeah. said I'm going to move them because I saw dad trying to park there and I was watching him and then he went over with a stick and started beating their cow. With <laughs> no <stick>. way. That's <laughs> so right. Goes, I'm not telling your business, Mrs. But you get a ticket for parking there. <laughs> I said, no, I'll leave him alone. He's got this handled. That's right. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, bet, my he bet the crap really out of their car. My mum my mom is really rude to people in, in shops. She will literally barge. If she's like three people down, she will barge to the, the Fair front. Fair play to her. She's and be like, I'm not bloody waiting. Love. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what, just skip on the them? Counter. Yeah. That's just mad. And like, because, because she's old and she's like half crippled and like hobbling, nobody says anything. When I get yeah. old, I'm going to destroy. Yeah. Destroy. The <coughs> uh, <coughs> rob banks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're dead right. Life's short by that point, isn't you know it? Trick yeah, I like you, what have you, like 100% that you should absolutely do that. Like yeah. I learned a really tr- a cool trick in a restaurant that you, so you leave you wait and stand like a fool beside the till to pay. You know, there was no one asked. Don't pay. <laughs> yeah, leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> what I did was they uh, stand there like a fool. I started pressing the buttons on the till. They're out like a fucking flash. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, just, just start, pressing the, bu- start pressing the buttons. Type, button. Typing it in yourself. I, no, no, just. Any old Random. button. Wait, what? Just press any old button just to fucking annoy them. And you, you're amazed at how quick service you get then when you start pressing buttons on the tail. So There's nobody. Yeah, just go press anything. And just see, see what happens. And they're out like a flash. They must see you on camera or something because. Uh, think you're yeah, I don't know what they think, but I don't care. But like, it's the quickest way to get. I used to be standing there for 15 minutes in this particular place, just wait until somebody. Or do, you, were, do you ever reach behind the counter and just take something? No. Like, that's stealing. <laughs> <laughs> as in, like, it brings people out. Because if you just like, oh, there was no one here, so I just thought that I would take it and leave the money. Oh, yeah, that's a cool that idea. That works. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah you can leave the I money. I haven't done that for a long time, actually. Mm. I think you can't get things as easily now it's COVID. Actually, that's what I probably would do if you had the money now is, like, I definitely... I've never been in a situation where you're waiting for someone too long that's not at the counter, but, like, in that situation, I definitely, even now, at the age I am, I would just leave the money and be, like, gone, like, because you're not... I don't know, yeah, that's just, because that's, that's something annoying. 
Um, but the pre- beeping the thing works as well. Do you know what's another thing now that um, is a bit of an, uh, an annoying occurrence that I've experienced? Like, if you're uh, in a car, a group of friends or family, family aren't normally too bad for it. Some family, do sometimes you, they are. Do you sing when you go on family car journeys? Well, do you what? all sing like the whole family? Do you sing no. in the car? I don't yeah. go anywhere with my family. Are you, you do, mad? You do. You yeah, do. yeah. What yeah. would you get sing? in a car with a family member and we speech, sing no. sa- family songs. <laughs> He's not <laughs> snappy. Yeah. Is that kind of the typical, <laughs> typical one? Yeah, Owen starts it off. Yeah, no, we'd all. We no, don't. What, Owen would give you the notes. So yeah, I mean, they, all the, home. He's the conductor. Yeah, you'd all home. Yeah. No, we'd all, like, the whole family would sing songs. Like, um, yeah. father would sing songs. We'd all sing songs. Uh, what would be the main song we'd sing? on or does no it's not snappy would be the main one would it yeah no we have a we, we have have books, like, family books so uh, have you little family music books that you sing from no we just have we just like we have each other <laughs> that's all we have <laughs> we don't we don't need the books we have each other that's lovely so like if all might forget a word or something you, you might tell him jump in you know we don't all, worry about it on. between us all what? Yeah. Mongolian throat singing. Yeah, that's what we do. do yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a moment. Did no, you do that no, when no. you were kids or anything? Singing in the back of the car? No, my father would have beaten us. <laughs> <laughs> no talking on car trips. You didn't stop for the toilet. You didn't stop for, for talking. You didn't stop for food. You didn't anything. No. You got in and, and you travelled until you got there. And that oh, was man. it. I would have dreamed of a trip like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. Honestly, it was great. Nobody has to talk. Nobody has to fucking listen. And did your car break down like our one did? No. Our, Why? Our, what happened? Our cars used to always break down, number one. And I get sick. Even just, even if I, oh, I, no. yeah, yeah, I puke out. You're a bad, bad oh, traveler. No. Pretty yeah. much. Like we'd only be, it's only the idea of traveling, I think was, was bigger than anything. Cause we'd only be gone like up by the Anor Hotel and I'd have puked all over the side of the car. But like I would have driven out further than that before and there'd be no problem. You know? What kind of puke would you have? Like acidic puke? Would you do yeah, pain damage? Of, no, it would be all down the side of the car, outside, out the window. Why did bleh. you do that? Because bleh. Like, uh, because <laughs> That's a solid answer there from you because blah. Because it felt like it. <laughs> the best answer um, it was in the history. anxiety, I think, of the, being in this car for a long time. With your family. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and there was a smell it. of petrol off the car as well, which kind of didn't help. Oh, was that like your that. puke? A bit, the bit petrol. of puke and petrol. Yeah. I like the, the smell of petrol. The smell of childhood. What? What? Do you like the smell of puke? No, petrol. Yeah, but do you, do you like the smell of puke? Of course not. Nobody likes the smell of fucking puke. I do. Do, they? do you like puke smell? No. Wait, no. what? I thought that was like one of the most common enjoyable <laughs> smells. But um, yeah. What the hell? I thought like that was a thing like people enjoyed. They make uh, candles that smell like puke and everything. No. They do. Chocolate. You You're thinking of chocolate. What? But jelly beans. Yeah. yeah people, and people yeah, like you can get vomit flavored jelly beans. Yeah. People. And do you remember the ashtrays in the car full of cigarette butts? And mm. stuff? How sick was that? Yeah, and that was a the smell of fucking... That literally just Nobody did... smoked in our house. Did they not? Like, no. You weren't... Didn't Nobody smoked in my house either, except our car was still full of ash. There was our uh, neighbors and stuff you smoke in our car, you know. Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> <laughs> and they smoke in our house as well, like... Oh, yeah, my grandparents used to smoke in the house. And did you rob cigarettes off them? No, because I was only about eight then. Donald got caught smoking when he was seven. Oh, really? Mm, in the school. Did, well, did you smoke at that age? Yeah. No way. Did you yeah. just think a car? I was better at <laughs> Better at smoking or uh, not yeah. a car? We used to smoke up by the oil tank in Scott Alva. Mm. And um, they knocked that shed down, the bicycle shed down now. So I often wonder, where did the kids smoke? Oh, yeah, that is actually true. Nobody thinks of these things when they're planning these jobs Is the oil tank gone as well? <laughs> yeah. It must be. What? You ratted me out through video games. I ratted you out? Yeah. Through video games. What was that about? Snitch. <laughs> oh, when my new man was on the... We were playing like two different consoles what online. What and if you messaged someone on PS3, it came up in the corner, like the message with the, the subject of the uh, message, like it, uh, on the phone would come up. Uh. And then I don't know why I can't remember what I said, but I do remember that. Were you just like hold, were you just holding the cigarette for somebody else on? Yeah, yeah. Who, who, yeah, the, yeah no, look. who was the boy you were holding the cigarette for on? Uh, neighbor. neighbor. It's like that time when I'd never when snitch on a criminal, but I'd snitch. Like we'd snitch on each other. So like, well, there's no way I'd ever do that to anyone unless they do it to. Not that it's right. You should. Maybe never like snitch. The, the never snitch on criminals. It's okay to snitch on your brother, though. When I got though. caught in, inhaling all that weed. <laughs> you did? For somebody else, yeah. Oh, well, you were was it my for someone else? 
No, in Hailing it. They would What was the name of the health food shop you worked in again? The Hailing Centre. Wait, in what? London. The Hailing Centre. Oh. Like Hailing, like Hailing. It's, like, it it's like Celtic or something for yeah, Hailing. Right. H A E L E. Oh, right. Wow. Or yeah. some Scottish old York or something. Still there. Or probably that sounds Scandinavian or something. Hailing Centre. Whereabouts is it? It's in Crouch End in North London, right by the clock tower in Crouch End. But wait, what were you saying? You got caught inhaling the, yeah, the cannabis. <laughs> cannabis. You know when you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what cannabis. You cannabis. Inhaling the cannabis. What yeah. No, cannabis. You know, cannabis. Yeah. Oh, cannabis. You know when you're like in, inhaling for somebody else, <laughs> Don't get not inhale you can that's piss. inhaling it. It's you're, you're, you're using their lungs like... They're using your lungs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got caught what happens, yeah. using the someone's <laughs> lungs. Yeah. They want they, your they lungs. They were using my lungs to inhale their weed. Uh, that's fair bad. Who did you get caught by? What's the story with that? Uh, I can't remember who I got caught by. Like what you mean, yeah? Like what? Who, who, was it a parent? Was it a teacher? Where was no, it? No, I think Did it your was parents my smoke sister. weed in front of you? No, my parents don't smoke anything. Oh, they, ever. Your mum does. <laughs> she doesn't. <coughs> I was smoking her. Chief snitch out here <laughs> now yeah, again. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chief <Isn't> snitch. It? <laughs> <laughs> no, but your mum was just holding that for somebody else. So yeah, don't mind probably what said. holding the crack pipe for somebody else. Mm. <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> The Halen Centre, that sounds fun. Where is that? Brilliant. Where yeah, is it? Quite a and what's it like? Is eight. it a big shop or what is it? It was big enough. It was two stories. Um, was. Is it still there, no? Yeah, I'm sure it well, is. Um, but obviously the uh, ownership and stuff would have changed. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, what, uh, full like of mad hippies. All getting stoned inside in the shop. No, not inside in the shop. Oh. But there was, um, I don't know, it was just had a, there, there was a particular culture around the place. Of good health was and well being. Was yeah. it a culture hippies. of fucking hard hippies. work? Yeah. Cool. Genuinely was. Like, yeah, yeah. people worked really fucking hard. That was yeah. a really busy shop. But oh, really hippies, cool. hippies work hard when you give them responsibility. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They do. I remember yeah. this, what I noticed at festivals, um, working at festivals or whatever, lads, lads who'd be like, you know, they'd be all about love and god or whatever they'd be all about the fr freedom of love and life and stuff but the second you gave them a high vis they would turn into hitler what the they would literally they would demand things of you not even possible by a human no. you give they're, they're only volunteering like and then you give them a high vis give a hippie a bit of responsibility <laughs> and hitler that is literally how hitler hitler used to be a hippie yeah. at a festival Until he got and then he got a high vis and things escalated if you give him a hard hat what would happen Oh, I don't know. The village I, people. Yeah. <laughs> when they do the YMCA. <laughs> the YMCA, yeah. That, that would relax you, like well, make yeah, you do the we'll YMCA. Bring it down a bit, yeah. There's nothing more relaxing than doing the YMCA. Uh, yeah, don't give them a shovel. I know, but as an over and exaggerating as a joke, but I have experienced that, like, uh, I was probably more, like, not even hippies, just people, like, who new to festivals or whatever. Would your high vis counteract their high vis? No. No, I'd never, I, I don't know, They're, we're all on the same, I always thought we were all in the same field. What about a high vis and a big bunch of keys? Oh yeah, a bunch that's, of keys. That's responsibility. If you, have, if you have the one with the little <laughs> clip on thing that you can clip onto your yeah. belt. No, no, when you give, when someone gets a walkie talkie, they'd literally think they're Jesus. I swear to God, they'd think they're, they're the second coming of Christ. I love walkie talkies. They look, they walk around, they look at you like they're paying you. Me and my like, brother got walkie talkies for Christmas once. Really? Yeah, we could. Uh, well done. Well, well, like the fuck, the yogurt's <laughs> on his on his screen. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, kind Didn't of. Did like, you share a bedroom? No. Oh, so say. we'd like to. That'd be funny. Well, uh, <laughs> what would you <laughs> say? Under the duvet in the same bedroom. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Shit, like Exhilarating. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever do the cups and the piece of string? No, I don't remember that. Do you that? Know, we even oh, did that shit. We used to do that. Yogurt, old petty for loser, that when the string like. Yeah. We made a hole in the we wall. We cleaned once. them or whatever. What? Remember, oh, I see no one not clean. We made a hole in the wall to talk. Oh, really? <laughs> so. I, we, we dug a tunnel under the ground with our spoons, me and my sister, yeah, in the hope of escaping. It was. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it did sometimes cross my mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hayley, what are you doing? Sister and Morgan Tunneling Freeman. under the kitchen. I used to get out on the roof. Uh, I get out a dormer window out on the roof with my feet under gutter and then close the window and have a cigarette. <laughs> How f it's like fucking two floors up. Wait, wait, what age were you? Uh, 14, something like that, 13 or 14. No, but oh, I thought I this was great, like just... Uh, Freedom. Yeah, close the window <clears throat> and you're on the outside with your yeah. feet in the gutter. So I didn't know mo much about gutters back then, how fucking <laughs> how flimsy they are. I thought it was done by an adult, it surely wouldn't break. <laughs> <laughs> no. How wrong. I know. You, you know better now, don't yeah. you? After that near paralyzing spine injury. I know. 
that's true and we used to uh, we used to sneak out that way as well just uh, hang hang down onto the roof below and then jump down again off drinking it with friends in bushes it was great nice. friends in bushes yeah. would you all how many friends could fit in one bush loads, it was a big bush loads beside the graveyard there was great bushes beside the graveyard in yeah. The place, yeah and, and there's there are hollows into the bushes and yeah, yeah 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 i remember there used to be a good few bushes around town for that they're after getting rid of them I know, they put a wall there. <laughs> yeah. We need these facilities back. Yeah, bring back the bushes. Yeah. Just get to do a petition. 10,000 signatures for bushes. We need more bushes in Turles. But they were always torn bushes and stuff like that. Apparently, like, you're better off. There's, like, nicer places to drink now. But when we were younger, tree that's house. what it was. Tree houses, Jesus. Yeah, I'm drinking in a tree house. Yeah, my brother made a tree house for his kid, and I just thought it's kind of a bitch. It looks grand and all that. But my parents, it's right in view of my parents' window, so they can't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an intelligent decision by yeah, your brother. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that sounds like good architecture. Can't can't that can't sounds like really good architecture. Yeah, and and anything that you need a treehouse for doesn't have any of those. <laughs> you think that an eight-year-old <laughs> needs a treehouse? Well, yeah, impossible. Yeah. Yeah, we used to light fires and shit like that when we were eight or nine. In tree yeah, houses. We did, we did that them. in yeah, a tree. Underneath them. Yeah. We did it in a tree house. Absolutely take what? that advice. We did it in a tree house on a yeah. piece of corrugated iron and we didn't oh, yeah. that, like five minutes. The thing was fucking roasting hot. Oh, wow. And we were trying to jump off. <laughs> we'd, um, we'd drop, we'd a fire grate up in our tree house. There's no fire in it, but we had a fire grate. I have no idea why, but we dropped it on poor Brian O'Grady's head and split him open. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Split right? him open. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Equally down the middle. A freaking fire grade. Was he all right after? Like he was. He was. Yeah, friendly. Jesus. Well, he was at uh, stitches, I think. But like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the poor fella. Yeah. God, how about you, Stevie? Did you ever drop it on anyone? Um. Or did you ever want to drop it on anyone? That's a not. You can. Uh, like, that's okay I too. I don't think so. Would you ever want? To? As like a sort no. of scientific. If there was no moral sort of just out of curiosity, like just like as just to learn something, just to learn. Would you ever want to do that? Did you? No. Did you and who would? Stevie, when you were a kid, no. 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 When did you? used to? Do, when did you start uh, smoking? It's like 21. Okay, yeah. 20, wow. 21 or That's 22. That's really late. That's sound up. I used to be like really, really anti-smoking. Like I stopped talking to people in school because they smoked like. No way. Yeah. That's mad. What, what? Did you learn it was cool then or what happened? I don't know. I just kind of eventually like peer pressure kind of. Gave, I gave in like and, and yeah. <laughs> Was it peer pressure? And who is peer pressure? And you're just I people we know. It must be people I know. I actually, don't twenty one peer pressure sure. really. I what? Don't, I don't, don't understand. fully understand peer pressure, right? I hear people saying it all the time, but I actually don't <coughs> fully understand it. Is it that like ever? Is it? Does it mean like what it actually means? Does it mean that like if everybody else is smoking, then that you feel like you have to? Is that how? Well, it well works? people will literally be like, ah, don't be a pussy, smoke. Would they? Like, yeah, no. that yeah, kind of like shit. Peer pressure, is it? Yeah, that's peer pressure. It's also could call it abuse, bullying, whatever you want. Okay. But like it's mm. all in the same realms. Like. Okay. My, my, well, well, I can't my, say. my cousin, uh, she told me, um, like that she she's a nurse, right? She still is, and she said like um, all the smokers used to have a smoking break, and she thought like fuck that like i'm gonna have a break as well and that's what made her take up smoking oh that's so that's 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 called sort of an intellectual decision rather than peer pressure okay, that's like okay. that's like fucking getting yourself a few breaks like yeah, that's yeah, all right yeah, that's yeah. not peer pressure okay. um that's an intellectual so decision peer pressure is when people say it to you is that, the, is that yeah when right? someone's like they're like trying to like like pressure it's a it's peer pressure, who pressures yeah, you pressure into it friend. okay yeah, 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 yeah pressure yeah, yeah. from your peers okay yeah, like whereas if we're around here and do you know, like, the way lads smoke outside, they're not like, hey, you, coming out for a fight, and you're like, they no, do. and then they're I like, ah, go on, you Owen should. is always saying, like, you're not mm. really cool if you, yeah. if you don't smoke, you know, but I just say, like, oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and run away. I'm not, I'm not going to crack, honestly. I love, <laughs> I, love, I love how you pick the person who doesn't smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who? Oh, <yeah. laughs> does, does Owen not smoke? No. Oh. Who smokes? Only recently, not, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. So oh, you yeah. oh, you don't smoke? Yeah, I forgot you don't smoke, yeah. Very good. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is pressuring you so like? You, Stevie. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely you. It's definitely you. It was uh, Stevie then. Hey, what's the weirdest thing you could say to, like, a stranger if you were passing them? Like, what would be the weirdest thing you could what say to them? It? Like, something that would just be so, like, I don't know. Lub a lub yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fair that's fucking weird <laughs> what? what is it <laughs> glub 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 <laughs> what the hell no, that's weird that's literally weird that just sounds like what's that kid, glub, glub. kid show um Bill and Ben or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Bill like and that. Ben. Blub, blub, blub. The flower pop. They were creepy. Did weirdos. anyone ever like have a stranger saying where to you? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. where? What to say? Um, Walking down the corridor in um, 
the first hospital I worked in in South Africa. Yeah. I hadn't been there long. Yeah. And this guy followed me. It's a massive long corridor, like partly outside, like the whole length of the hospital. And this guy was following me. It was the end of the day. And I was thinking, oh, for fuck's sake, some weirdo is going to say something. And then he goes, excuse me, excuse me. Would you like to come and eat meat with me? <laughs> oh. I'm well. Free, like. Couldn't get that That far. is a oh. brilliant question. Would you like to come and eat I meat I would with like me? to eat meat, Juju. As long as I'm not pink. <laughs> that is such a mad question. Wow. What did you say? What? I'm vegetarian. Well, South African, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Do they like meat over there? Yeah, yeah, they mm. do. They like their red meat. There's it wasn't an innuendo of sorts. It was like just that um, they were fat or meat eaters over there. I think something got lost in translation. Okay, yeah. His first language would have been Zulu. And um, apparently it's like a thing, like to eat meat is like, you know, you have wealth kind of oh, thing. Oh, cool. Oh, so he was trying to say, hey, I got money. Yeah. 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 That's like waving the watch over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's trying to show um, you his watch. I said no. No, thank you. Why? I would would love to be offered it. There was a coffee shop. Meet with another Um, man. (laughs) Yeah. There's a coffee shop in in Mississippi called The Common Ground. And every day at the exact same time, I think it was around 11 o'clock, this guy used to come in the front door and out the back door. He'd go right through it. And you can walk around and he'd say, you've got fire. And he'd just say to everyone, have you got fire? What does it mean? You got, you got fire. Light. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. fire. But, like, I didn't know what he meant, but fire. Because he spoke so quick, the only word I could pick up was fire. And, uh, <laughs> fire? So he just come fire, running through. Yeah, fire at the exact same time. And he got used to him by the end of the, <laughs> uh, the, end of the year there. But fire, and no but, one ever gave him a lighter. He, he came in the front door oh, and out the back door and you could walk around the building, so it didn't matter. You know what I mean? You weren't hemmed in, but um, fire. But it was at the exact same time every day. Whoa. And, like, who, and did no one ever give him a lighter? Did anyone cop it on it? Not inside because you couldn't smoke inside. I don't know what it was, yeah. but it, but uh, it was rigid, like what he was doing. <laughs> That's bizarre. Oh, I like I, that name for a coffee shop, like just the whole the common ground. Yeah, just the gr- yeah. the pun on ground. Like. Yeah. Oh wow, that changed good. After coffee that. grounds. Yeah. Changed the chocolate giraffe. That's a uh, yeah. That's less of a pun. No. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A it'll take a while to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> I, I I got the common ground thing, but I don't know why they they called it chocolate giraffe. What's that about? I didn't know. Where was it? Which country is it in? In Starkville, Mississippi. Okay, so there's no giraffes there. Let's let's rule out the, yeah, yeah. there's no giraffes the in Mississippi. The chocolate giraffe. They yeah, barely yeah. have chocolate in Mississippi. And I don't know why they didn't leave it alone. The common ground was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was in the cotton Was that district. somebody trying to be wacky? Right. Was it wacky? Yeah. Was it a wacky old person or whatever? Nice. It was just grand like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grand more than ground. Ground, yeah. It was lovely. <laughs> yeah. No longer ground, but yeah. grand. Grand. Would it be weird to say to a stranger like something like, uh, I don't know what you say, like, I hope I would, like, while you're past them, say, I hope we pass again. Just keep saying that. Yeah, that is that I weird? Think that is kind it's kind of nice. Yeah. So what you could do? If someone said that to me, I would, if someone said that I'd to run. me, I'd no. be like, I'd run. I'd probably be weird if I said, if someone said it to me, I would be like, that's very nice of you. I, I'd hope I'd pass you too. Depends yeah. on the tone and like yeah. stuff like. Yeah. Like if someone says it and they seem really friendly and stuff, you yeah. might be like, oh, that was nice. Yeah. But if someone's like heavily panting and saying like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope we pass, yeah. Hope we pass again. Yeah, I, wait, I have to go now, but I, I hope we pass again. Yeah. And yeah. trying to lick your that. face or yeah. something. We should do that maybe go around <laughs> the town for this coming week and see what reactions we get. Like say, um, oh, there you are. Someone licked yeah, my face. Yeah, at, someone licked my face at a gig once. Did they? No way. <laughs> it's not all right, is it? I was sitting there. Oh, I was sitting down that. playing Cahoon, like playing the box, and they were chatting to me. And why? Oh, yeah, then no just lickies. as they went to leave, they just like <laughs> licked the side of my face, and it was, it was like, wait, who? Wait, wait, just recently? Uh, a few years ago. What the hell? Oh, was I, it definitely I had actually, person? I had actually kind of forgot about it, and then Tony do, reminded me of it, and I was like, was oh it shit! Yeah. Do they br- is it someone that like brushes a, their a, teeth? Not like a greyhound or something. Greyhound, no, I was like yeah. a woman, like. I kind of know her. She's like, I didn't really know her, but yeah, I, I yeah. know of her. You went on licking terms. Definitely not. No. <laughs> Wait, when do you when do you get on licking terms? Like, Juki used to lick my face all you? the time. Oh yeah, I heard. Like she knew. Like, <laughs> so I hear. Like she's like about forty or fifty or something. Yeah. I didn't. I'd never really Did talked lick- to her at all before. I just knew mm. she existed. I'd and, love uh, a good lick. I'd never get licked oh. ever no, by you- anyone. Not, not in by, any capacity. Not even by a greyhound. Not even by a greyhound. Not by any. Not anyone. For, not any OAP. Not anyone. Like. Oh. Um, so if anyone would like to lick Kieran, for just Christmas. come up and do it. The link is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The li- Sorry, the, the lick, lick is. <laughs> no, I would. What? Postman, postman licks you. The postman licks Owen. Our local postman. Is that true? Are you jealous? Yeah, I definitely. It is. It's a custom. Can lick if you want to get him back, if you want to get him back, like just 
crouched by the letterbox and when his hand comes in to put the letter Bite in, it. L- just lick his hand. Oh, <laughs> man. Bite rub it rub with a sponge. That's what I do. <laughs> that happened to me when we were delivering leaflets. I put my hand in a letterbox and the dog licked my hand and I was... Oh, oh. that's not oh, good for you. Oh, do you know what happened to me? Oh. When I was doing um, obstetrics in internship. Oh, yeah. Um, I was checking the lie Look, of I a baby that is. if somebody... Like, <laughs> well, what um, is obstetrics? Sorry. Obstetrics is like um, pregnant women. Oh, yeah. Because okay. you don't get pregnant men yet. So yes. I, um, I was doing a, um, this is going to sound really awkward, but what? just get past this bit. So I was doing a vaginal exam to check on how this woman Vaginas was... Vaginas um, aren't awkward. Okay, I good. don't think they are. How this woman was um, progressing in pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. And um, how do you do something that? grabbed my the fingers. Thing? Oh, Jesus. In the vagina. And I was and like, I'd been you. awake, like I'd been on oh, like, all night yeah. and everything like that. And I was knackered. And was I was just, baby. I thought it was my mind playing tricks on me. And I was like, something just Whoa. grabbed my hand. And my, my registrar here. came in, my medical officer came in. And Come I was in like, here. I think something just grabbed my hand. And he Come laughed. And he said, yeah, what do you think that is? And I was like, I don't know, I'm really tired. And then I was like, oh my God, it's the baby. That's mad. It was the baby. Grabbed your down finger or something. And grabbed her. You know how like babies have that like... Yeah, like yeah. You put your yeah. finger in their hand and they'll just grab it. That's class. Did you say anything? Hey, come in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you did. No, I didn't. That's class, though. Yeah. That's cool. What did you say? What did really you say? Fuck off. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> Have my hand back, please. Yeah. I'm really impressed they you did, were telling your story. They, did, they did say something, though. Like, all you could hear from the baby was, do you want to come eat meat with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rich baby. <laughs> a rich yeah. baby. Um, that's right. Yeah, that was really weird. That is, that's, a really, that's a cool, that's a that's unique fun. experience. Yeah. That's cool. I've never we had that happen. That's the grab I've ever had. No. Oh, like, <laughs> that <okay. is> a, <laughs> wow. I don't think it gets any more obscure than that. And did you, did you tell the mother? Yeah, what like she she's, I mean, she's obviously got other things to be thinking about because someone's got their, their hand in her vajayjay. Okay. And what did the mother say? Um, afterwards, I shook I was hands like, with your child. Very yeah. polite. Your, your baby <laughs> yeah, very just polite squeezed baby. my finger. Uh. And she looked at me and was like, ah, and I was like, your baby just went down and squeezed my finger. And then my medical officer translated in Zulu in case she was a bit All like right. thrown by it. And she laughed and she's like, ah. Oh. And I was like, yeah, it's good. It's good, Ma. It's good. That's mm. cool. That's mad. Yeah. She was coming, Weird. ready to come out. Weird to think that, like, the baby interacted with you before. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. Well, no, it was interacting with her for about nine months. No, That's but you know what I mean? Like, exactly. as in, like, exactly. actually, yeah. like, the kind of physical... A social, re- outside. like, an actual yeah. handshake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you know any Zulu? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Like what? Uh, I know, all the, like, the medical stuff. So, like, kushlela is cough. How do you say penis? Um, don somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? Don, don, don somewhere is, like, breathing. Um, <laughs> keep keep la pipe is spit out the tube. Okay. I did anesthetic. That's something I'm going to need to know yeah, how to say it. Um, keep yeah. yeah. keep la pipe. is like my breathe in. Friends. Kepa is like breathe out. Um, tata muti, take the medicine. Okay. Um, yeah. How, you were the one you were saying. Kungu is pain. How to say that's, insects. That's interesting that, like, tat. Insects. Like caterpillars. Nunus. Nunus, yeah, that's a But Nunus is just like generic <laughs> bugs. Like yeah, funny <laughs> word. <laughs> Nunu. Nunu. Yeah, like Nunu in the house. People use Nunu to mean something else, like. Or do they? Like what? what? Do, like what? Some people, like, call a vagina a Nunu, like. Wait, really? what? That's so Wait, weird, because we were talking about vaginas uh, just a couple of minutes ago. It. And I now we're talking about Nunus. It's more of like Are an English thing. I've seen a, on I've telly, heard, like, people referring to it as, like, disturbing. a, a Nunu name. or a Nunny or something yeah, like that. Like. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, yeah, probably, like, an I've older generation or something yeah. like that. Or a growler. No, these were, like, younger people <laughs> saying oh, that. Right. Well. A growler. Mm, that's what I've heard. Oh, I haven't heard people say that in <laughs> ages. <laughs> Wait, I've never ever. What do you mean ages? No. I no, think, like that. Whoa. That is a thing, but a growler. It's not a common thing. No. But, yeah. I feel I really thought... uncomfortable now. <laughs> that is so like, weird. I wonder, why? Why is that any that relation? Come? I don't know why that. Because you don't. Nothing growls like. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know why. Penises are probably more likely to growl. Hmm. That's very. That's very <laughs> awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think not? <laughs> I don't know. It is awkward. It's not like Nunu is a nicer term. No. None of it. No, <laughs> none of it's cute. Also, none when of it's you're nice. saying there about like ta- Tata Muti meaning take your medicine, like yeah. if Tata means like to take something, that's yeah. kind of interesting because like tata. if you, if you oh, say yeah. Tata to a kid, it means yeah, give yeah. me that, yeah, but yeah. Tata there means yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you take this. Yeah, that's mad. Like, yeah, Go Tata, tata. take. Um, yeah, Hamburgatle is a really nice one. That oh, means um, go well. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Go just in general. Go yeah, go well. well. So yeah. Like hamburger nice. is what you say to somebody like Hamburg bye. Exactly. Oh, Hamburg actually, uh, you know at the start of like the Lion King, the like Asavinya Mama Beat. Yeah, the, yeah. If you translate that from like I think it's Swahili. If you translate that, literally what it means is like something like oh, there's a lion. Yes, there's a lion. It's no like way. so you think it'd be something like really cool spiritual. and profound and spiritual, but it's like oh yeah, there's a lion. That's funny. What words? <laughs> You know the oak ah, Savinia, Mama Beats of Baba? No. It's at the start of Lion King. I didn't see the Lion King. Oh, I didn't see oh. good. <laughs> yeah. so Is Lion King good? I haven't seen any of these movies. I don't like They're cartoon good. movies. What? I don't really like cartoon movies. Oh. Okay, should we finish up now? Yeah. I think we're a bit behind on time. Um, yeah, sure. If anyone wants to watch Lion King, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, just tell me the story of it in the thing below because it couldn't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> just just comment it's below. <laughs> tell you what happened basic, in Lion King. It's basically Hamlet with animals. Like, class. Yeah. Class. Read Hamlet. Straight up description. <laughs> yeah. um, if you want to if you want to help support the show, you can donate money by clicking the link in the description below or it's in the pinned comments. Or if you want to buy merchandise, you can click the link below. Uh, we got cool jumpers and t-shirts. They're all as cheap as possible. We're not really making money off it, but we think it will help if you support us by wearing it. And it's not just like they're good look, look they're nice looking clothes as well. Um, not that I'm attracted to clothes or anything, but you can be, I suppose. But like, uh, they're nice clothes and you can wear them and they're not just like, yeah, we put a bit of effort into designs and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Does anyone have anything else to add? No, just if you want, if you want to hear a bit more talk about vaginas, just scroll back about five minutes. Yeah. And yeah. tune in next week where we will do, we will divulge deep within the realms of vaginas next week. And I do Hayley, you should say the I final, don't think final word awkward. on this uh, go well thing. What was it? Yeah. Hamburgatli. Say that again? Hamburgatli. There you go. All right. Everybody. Hamburgatli. <laughs> Hamburgatli. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? Hamburgatli. 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 Right. Hamburgatli. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>